Now this one says that Say that find the solution set of the simultaneous equations x on 3 plus y on 2 is equal to 2x on 3 minus y on 6 is equal to 7. Interesting. You know what it means? This one here means that the first set of equations here, x on 3 plus y on 2 is equal to 7. And the second set of equations, 2x on 3 minus y on 6 is also equal to 7. That's what it means. So we are going to write them one by one. And that's all we have. So the question they get is that's what it means. Good. Now you see in equation one, in equation one, we are having the denominators being 3 and 2. And in equation 2, we are having our denominators being what? 3 and 6. So we can do something with equation 1 to remove the fractions, all right? So let's multiply through equation 1 by 6 and multiply through equation 2 by also 6 because the RCM for the equation 1 is 2 and 3, that is what? 6. And the RCM for equation 2 is what? 3 and 6, that is also what? 6, right? Okay, good. Good. So we have good, and that is going to give you When I multiply 3 by 6, I'm going to get this 3 will cancel this 6 by 2, so I have 2x. This 2 will cancel this 6 by 3, so I have 3y. Then 6 times 7 is 42, right? Good. Let's call this one here equation number 3. I'm also going to multiply through equation 2 by 6. The LCM for 3 and 6 here. All right? Good. So, again... And that is going to give me, let me do it up here, okay? Can you see from down here? You can see. All right, that's fine. So I'm going to have, again, this three will cancel this six. So we're going to have, Good. Let me call it equation 4. This 3 will cancel this is by 2. 2 times 3 is 4x. This is will cancel this is by 1. 1 times y is y. Then 6 times 7 is 42, right? Okay. So it means that we have equation 3, equation 4. Hmm. So... Good. That is what we have. So this is our equation three, equation four. Good. Good. What do we do? This is very simple. Which one do you want to eliminate? Which one? Which of the variables? Is it x or y? Yes, I'm asking, is it x or y? Which of them do you want to eliminate? Is it x or y? Okay. You want x. That is fine. 
That is beautiful, but I can see that it's very clear for us to remove Y. But you want X, that is fine. Okay, so if you want X, what do we do? We have to ensure that the coefficient of X in equation 1, equation 3, and the coefficient of X in equation 4 are the same. But I can see that 2 is a factor of 4. 2 can go into 4 by 2. So I'm just going to multiply equation 3 by 2. Then they'll become the same. If you don't know, you can say, so we'll multiply equation 1 by 4 and equation 2 by 2. It's the same thing. become 8, 8. They are the same thing. Okay? Good. So, that would say that multiply multiply equation 3. It should be equation 3. Equation 3 by 2. Okay. So, if I multiply this equation 3 by 2, I'm going to get what? Now for this equation, it's the same. Good. So let me just call it this one here, equation 5, equation 6. Okay? Good. Can you now see that the coefficients here are the same? Okay. So put a bracket on them. The sign here is positive. The sign here is positive. So you cannot add. We have to do what? Subtract. So we subtract. I put a negative sign here. When I put a negative sign here, it means that this is going to become negative, this is going to become plus, and this is going to become negative. Is that correct? Okay, so I'm subtracting. Good. Now, this becomes minus 4x. Minus 4x plus 4x will give you 0. This becomes plus y. Plus y plus 6y will give us what? 7. This becomes what? Minus 42. Minus 42 plus 84 is actually 42. All right? So it means that we have what? 7y is equal to 42. You want to find y. You just have to take what? The multiplicative inverse of what? 7. And that is what? 1 over 7. It means that your y is equal to 42 over 7. And I believe this will give you 6. All right? So having gotten your y, you can easily find your x. Okay? Having gotten your y, you can easily find your x. And you can find the x by putting it in either equation 3 or equation 4. Equation 3 or equation 4. Because in equation 1, you know it contains fractions, 1 and 2. And that's why we have read down it to get this. So you can put your y in either equation 3 or equation 4. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Okay, equation, um, equation 3. Okay, so you say that substitute. Equation 3, you said. Okay, fine. That is fine. Good. So I'm going to put y is equal to the equation 3. And equation 3 relates like what? It says what? 2x. Good. Okay, permit me to continue from here. Okay. Good. If I subtract this one from that, what do I get? 42, 18. This is 12, 4. This is 3, 2, 24, right? Okay. That will give you 24. Good. 24. Yeah. So I can, I can easily find x. And that is going to give me what? By taking the, the, what? the multiplicative inverse of what? 2. That is going to give me x equals to 24. Good. So x is 12. X is 12. Very beautiful. You see the question? Very interesting. I like the question. Good. Now the question is that find the solution set. It didn't just say solve. It said find the solution set. So we're going to write the solution set. Okay. You see, we are solving for x and y. So I just put like this. X and y. You see the way we are writing our solution set. X and y. X comma y in a bracket. Then x is equal to 12, y equals to 6. So that's our solution set. So that's our solution set. Okay? Good. So that's our solution set. So anytime they ask you to write a solution set, that is how you have to write it in a simultaneous form, right? Good. So that's beautiful. I believe you follow it. 
Good. Good, 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 good. So I'm just going to give you some few questions to also try your hands on, and that is how mathematics is done. So you can see that as you are solving, these are very, very simple. Just follow through, follow the procedure, and you go through, right? Good. So, yeah, the questions. Good. I'm just going to give you three questions to use um, elimination to solve it. Good. You can see the questions rolling on your screens. Just try and go through them. We'll meet another time. Thank you very much for your attention.